Okay, hey guys, welcome to my Batman The Telltale Series playthrough. This is part two of episode one, which is Realm of Shadows, I believe. And last time we had a run-in with Carmine Falcone. We're supporting Harvey Dent's uh, DA campaign. And uh, we've just met Catwoman for the first time. And we're about to meet Cobblepot, who is Penguin, in a park at 6 a.m. for some reason. I don't know why. I didn't arrange it. But uh, yeah, that's basically where we're up to. And uh, let's jump straight in. Where are you, Oz? Thank you, sir. you, but no Oz. There is some hella awesome uh, sideburns here, though. Well, it isn't what it used to be. Who is it? Maybe it's his dad, if it's Cop... Because I think it was Cobble Park, Park or something. So it makes sense if it was his dad. Where the fuck did he come from? Watch Wallet Cash. But this goes through you. You heard him, man. The hell are you waiting for? You're making a mistake. You already made one. Come in here. The next one kills you. End him. Gentlemen. Oz. Keep walking, all right? This don't concern you, twerp. You see, that's where you're mistaken. My old mate and I have some catching up to do. And you're the moment! Come here! I think that'll do! Oh. Stay down! Punch in the face. This used to be a nice place. No lives like you don't belong. What an idiot. No one does that in real life other than cartoons is running into something when someone moves. This is my park! Mine! You hear that? <laughs> oh, hey Bruce. You've got a little, uh... Eh, yeah, good as new. Woo, that was the right little scrap, eh? Nothing kickstarts the system like a dash of adrenaline, eh? Besides, someone needed to deal with the rubber situation here. Well, thanks for the backup. I yanked you away from your bloody ivory tower, Bruce. Least I can do is make sure you don't get shanked. Oh, that's very thoughtful of you. Oh, it's been what? Two decades. And you know what? I haven't been mugged once that entire time. <laughs> uh, that wasn't why I brought you here, mate. Right now, I am trying to recognize the little Bruce. I used to run around this place with. Back when it wasn't, you know, like this. This park used to mean something. A place that was safe for kids, for families. 
People came from all over to visit. Oh, Mom and Dad, they put so much work in here. This place is a wreck. It's better off bulldozed. That was a bit aggressive. It didn't tell me to bulldoze to me, it. Bruce. It's all my folks left behind. <sighs> this city chews right through people. <sighs> Mum committed to Arkham. Dad. Ended it yourself, he did. My family's fortune. There's nothing left, Bruce. I know. Alfred told me. <sighs> it's funny, huh? Same place that ground my family to dust. Gave you the good life. Used to run in the same circles we did. Hobnobbing parties, round the world vacations, unlimited potential. Now all I got is this park. My parents are gone too, Oz. I know, Bruce, I know. I'm sorry for it. But I have my own funerals to attend. Good to know you haven't changed, Bruce. You still care about something more than just yourself. Although, I'm surprised to see Carmine Falcone at your party last night. Made himself right at home, that oily... <sighs> Falcone was an uninvited guest. That's it. Never want to see his face again. On that, we can agree in earnest. Falcone made a stack of cash and corpses a mile high, ruining families like mine. All he needs is a little push. And... Oh, his jacket spawned in there. It'd be a treat to watch him at pavement. Sorry, mate. This reunion got a lot more grim than I planned. Things are gonna be on the upswing soon, though. A revolution is knocking on Gotham's door. And I'm here to let it in. Which brings me to you, Bruce. You see, you throw a rock in any direction, you break a window that Wayne Enterprises owns. As the rich and powerful go, oh, you top Gotham's list. But when my revolution starts, we're gonna smash windows and cross off names all the way down. Like I said, it's not gonna be pretty. It's gonna be beautiful. I'm not your enemy, Oz. That remains to be seen, don't it? I've got great affection for you, Bruce. I really do. Which is why I'm warning you. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. Good seeing you, Bruce, but I got some rocks to collect. Cheers. Them sound effects remind me of uh, Resident Evil. Over here, right here. This way. Bruce, Bruce. Good morning, everyone. Morning, Mr. Dent. Hey, Bruce, you mind if we swap cars? I mean, mine isn't fast and the paint's rusting off, but boy, does she have charm. <laughs> We didn't bring you all out here to discuss cars, honestly. Oh, this is a shit joke. <sighs> now, we're here about Arkham Asylum. Ever since it opened its doors, Arkham has been a breeding ground for the criminally insane. I like the thought of Alfred texting. That's just funny. Its methods for rehabilitation, crude. Its security, lacking. And worse still, those who do get out, or God forbid, escape, are even more dangerous than before they went in. He's talking like a Arkham fucking teenage Asylum girl. Is a cancer on Gotham. <clears throat> But today, with a sizable contribution from this man here, 
we break ground on a state-of-the-art mental health care facility. One that will improve the well-being of Gotham and its citizens for years to come. Now, Mr. Wayne has a few words he'd like to say. Bruce? We don't want to talk about his parents because we don't want to make everything about him. For those with mental health issues, there are no cuts or scrapes. Their ailments are often invisible. But inside, they're suffering. Although we are going to anyway. <sighs> you know, when I was uh, nine years old, my parents took me to see a movie about a hero in a mask. It was a hero who stood up to oppression and defended the people from injustice, no matter the cost. That night, my parents paid the ultimate cost defending me from a man <clears throat> who needed the kind of help this new facility will provide. With this facility and our next mayor, we create a new face for Gotham. Today, on the anniversary of that fateful night, we dedicate this facility to Thomas and Martha Wayne and usher in a new era of healing for Gotham. On paper and theory, there's actually like an excellent kind of like campaign aspect. Like, let's rehabilitate better I'm, uh, the, the mental I'm sure you all patients. have plenty of questions about the new hospital, so let's open it up. And also kind of you first, include Harvey Thank you. in it as well. With the opening of this new hospital, what does this mean for Arkham Asylum? What happens to the old building? I know this is a sensitive subject, Mr. Wayne. I, I withdraw my question. Well, that was easy. We All right, who's up next? Oh, Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne, Wayne. Uh, you there. Mr. Wayne, Julia Remark of the Tribune. My sources say you welcomed alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone into your home. You even spoke with him behind closed doors. I don't make friends with gangsters. He was an unwelcome guest. That's all. Next question, please. Please keep your questions on topic, people. We're here about the hospital, remember? Yeah, motherfuckers. Uh, but Mr. Wayne, this morning the Globe received evidence of an offshore bank account managed by Carmine Falcone and your father. Thomas Wayne. What exactly are you implying? Transactions connected to organized crime going back years and continuing to this day. The paper trail ties your family directly to the mob. Care to comment? I don't comment on rumors. Why don't we just stick to real journalism here? Mr. Wayne, oh, Mr. Mr. Wayne, is all your money dirty? Is the Wayne family legacy built on lies? Did you know about this, Bruce? How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? What aren't you telling us? Does the mob sign Wayne Enterprises paychecks? My parents were entrepreneurs, philanthropists, not common criminals. It's absurd. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne! How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? Did you know about this, Bruce? What are you telling us? I'm sorry about this, Bruce. I don't know where the hell it's coming from. Damage controls my territory. We'll talk later. Everyone, everyone, please, settle down. I'll be fielding your questions from here on out. Please, let's try to keep this civilized. Bruce, I've been trying to reach you. The police are inside the manor. Dun, dun, dun. It'd be an interesting twist if, like, his dad was into, like, was a shady business. And that's, like, how they kind of got some of their money from, that'd be cool. And he's got to, like, kind of deal with it retrospectively. It's going quite quick. Especially since I'm used to playing, like, Life is Strange episodes for, like, three hours, three or four hours straight. Hey, hey, careful! Put it back. I'm afraid we can't, Mr. Wayne. Did they have a warrant? Says who? This warrant. There you go. Okay, they do. It's not personal. I had the boys turn the lights off, keep a low profile. 
I'm sorry, are you arresting me? Not unless I'm forced to. We're only collecting evidence today. I didn't do anything. That's what we're here to find out. Alfred, keep an eye on them. Make sure they only take what they have to. Of course, sir. I meant what I said about not personal. We only want files related to Wayne Enterprises. The warrant covers your place, pardon me, places of residence, and any companies you own. And what do you expect to find? That's for our analysts back at the precinct so they don't to know figure what out. They're looking for. I can't comment. I guess they're looking into the. It's a valid warrant. I got a survey. Shady. Mayor Hill signed up on this himself. Money earnings, then? As long as he's mayor, he calls the shots. Well, Hill has a history of making his opposition disappear. Rumors and allegations, Mr. Wayne, that's all. But if they become fact, I'll handcuff him myself, same as any other crook. I don't know how your neck ended up on Mayor Hill's shopping block, but here we are. Hill knows if I go down, Harvey's campaign goes down too. That'd be a real shame. Mr. Dent's the only DA I ever trusted to make a conviction stick. As mayor, I think he can finally turn things around for us. For all our sakes, I pray you've got nothing to hide. Oh, it's not his DA campaign, it's his mayor campaign. Okay, that makes sense. I like how that policeman like knocked down and you were fuck. Just kept going. <laughs> It's getting very dark. Bruce, stay back! Take whatever you want! That's cool. You, you don't have to do this. Bloodstain's exactly the same on all three of them. Bruce? Is that Vicky Vale again? I, I didn't mean to interrupt, but... This is the second time you've shown up uninvited. Well, it's difficult to book a meeting with you. Well, I enjoy my privacy. Enjoyed. Past tense. Sorry, but if the press has their way, you're not gonna have any for a while. Listen, Bruce, a scandal surrounding a beloved family like yours captures the public's attention. I can help you get the right kind of attention. Through my connections at the Gazette, I have all kinds of access. I can dig up whatever you need to fight this. What's your angle? I do like Not the smooth the transitions, that is nice. nice. Some of us are old fashioned. I still want the truth. The Gazette received this supposed evidence like every other media outlet, and it's all hearsay flimsy sources, there isn't a shred of hard proof. Still, allegations like this, they, they, they don't magically appear. Someone is going after my family, after me. Obviously, the sender didn't identify themselves. We have no idea who it could be. I mean, no one's even done their due diligence on this yet. The press saw the fumble, they grabbed the ball and ran. Hill wants me out of the picture because with my backing, Harvey wins in a landslide. All signs point to Hill. <sighs> You're a kingmaker, Mr. Wayne. And Harvey Dent is Gotham's knight in shining armor just waiting for the crown. You're the first target on Hill's list. Kingmaker, that's like a cool nickname. By tonight, this scandal will be broadcast to every screen in Gotham. Everyone will be talking about it. This isn't my first pass through the rumor mill. I know the damage it can do. Then go on the record. Right here, right now and stop it. You need to get out ahead of this. Your side is what matters, not wild speculation. On the record, then. Whenever you're ready. The Wayne family has always been a cornerstone of Gotham. We have never had and never will have connections to organized crime. That's exactly what the people of Gotham need to hear. 
She will remember that. She's got it recorded. She doesn't remember it. You're gonna beat this, Bruce. The Waynes always come out on top. Goodbye, Miss Rail. I hate to admit it, but everyone smells smoke. A fire is heading this way. Batman has made plenty of enemies, but my family... We've done nothing but support Gotham, even in its darkest days. All this on the anniversary of your parents... It's not a coincidence. Harvey's the district attorney. He should have told me this was coming. Then find out why he didn't. Well, so suddenly Harvey's involved now as well. Is he? How have they worked that out? So basically, it's kind of saying there was like multiple different reasons. Like one of them could be that Falcone's trying to fuck us over now, or it could be Mayor Hill. I wonder if the culprit is different people, or whether it's just like the same culprit every time. Warrant? What the hell's going on? Wait, does this have to do with what the reporters were talking about this morning? That press conference turned into a bloodbath. Yeah, someone's coming after me. Let's avoid making another scene, shall we? The press is already up my ass as it is. Mayor Hill authorized this? Yeah, then the cops raid my house, taking everything related to Wayne Enterprises. Computers, hard drives, files... Oh, son of a bitch. You're the goddamn DA, Harvey. I didn't know about this, I swear. Hill totally blindsided me on this one. God damn it. He has no right to issue search warrants without my okay. You owe me an explanation. And I will get you one, straight from Mayor Hill's mouth. I just don't get it. Why would Hill stick his neck out over this? Just to tangle you up in some frivolous investigation? That just doesn't make sense. I mean, what could he possibly hope to accomplish other than a few cheap headlines? That is exactly what I intend to find out. Easy, Bruce. Ah, oh, God, what a mess. Bruce, I wish I could just make this go away, but I'm not sure if I can. If I get in the way of this investigation, Hill would be able to spin it as a conflict of interest. And that wouldn't be good for either of us. It would jeopardize the entire campaign. Then I'll go it alone. I've got plenty of resources to fight this. We're in a bind here, Bruce. I'll do whatever I can to help. There you are. Hey, you. Sorry. I got a habit of being late. No, no. Just glad you made it. That is a fucking horrible outfit. Is that Coleman? You didn't tell me you were bringing a friend to dinner. This is Selena. Yeah, okay. I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Just election nonsense. I think we'd both welcome a change of topic. Harvey never mentioned you before. Oh, really? That's interesting. What was your name again? Uh, it's Selena. Selena Kyle. It's a strong grip you've got there. Don't worry. I'm not gonna fall. Oh, right. Sorry. Selena's new to town. I've been showing her around Gotham, introducing her to people. You're an excellent tour guide, Harv. Well, if I lose the election, I guess I can drive one of those double to your eyes tour buses around town. So, Miss Kyle, what brings you to Gotham? Business. Well, let's just hope she stays after what happened last night. I was mugged. I'm just angry I let that masked freak get away with all my stuff. I still can't believe I let you walk home alone. I should have called you a car. Well, I sure hope whatever he took wasn't too valuable. Actually, it was. That's probably long gone by now. Whatever that idiot took. I hope not. These were important materials. Ooh. Sensitive? Very. I don't know how I'm gonna explain this to my client. When things like this happen in my line of work, people tend to overreact. We should just be thankful you got away with a black eye. So, what do you do for a living? It's complicated. High risk, high reward. Ah, stock market, huh? 
<laughs> Something like that. At least I'm not the only one who's taken a beating. That press conference? Oof. Woof. We've got it under control. Do you? I like this. This bit's fun. Like, they kind of double. They both I'll know. Handle but they kind of like... Someone at my office has to know what's going on. Eking it out of each other. I like it. Uh, excuse me a moment. Hey, it's Harvey. He looks like Michael Shannon to me. I was trying to work out who he looks like. Like General Zod from uh, Man of Steel. But without the... He's got like a weird mole or something. But like him if he was like really buff. Well, this is awkward. Nice to meet the real you. In case you're getting any ideas, no one would believe you. <laughs> right. This explains a lot, actually. How you can afford the fancy armor, the toys. <laughs> Wouldn't Harvey be surprised? <laughs> Not to mention, everyone in this cafe. What do you want with Harvey? Don't worry about your friend. My interest in him is personal. Don't worry. I'm not going to expose you. Yet. I'm curious about something, though. I do what I do for money, but you're... Bruce Wayne. What's your excuse? I have to. But you... Why take the risk? I think you know enough already. The rest is my secret. And here I was thinking we were starting to get somewhere. How disappointing. Either that kernel's not meant to flicker, it's just like one of them like cheap plastic ones that you can get. You have something that belongs to me. I want it back. This is awkward for me. I'm used to robbing people, not the one being robbed. Who hired you to break into the mayor's office? My clients prefer to remain confidential. They don't know who I am, I don't know who they are. But you know who I am. These people I'm working for? They don't screw around. Stay, then leaves. If I fail to deliver that drive, it's going to cost a lot more than money. Well, it looks like you've made your bed. No, we've made this bed. And I'm not going to lie in it alone. You owe me. So that's what she says to Harvey as well. If they don't get what they want, there will be consequences. I don't like consequences. Oh, you don't need my help. You seem pretty capable of handling this yourself. Oh, I intend to. Just give me back the drive and I'll be on my merry little way. Yeah, I'd rather not. Listen, I don't have a lot of time. My employer is expecting me to drop it off. Where? Just give it back. The address, now. No, give me the drive. You're just going to have to trust me. I don't do trust. I guess I'm screwed either way. My contact. He'll be expecting a cat, not a bat. When are you supposed to meet him? Fifteen minutes ago. Better hurry. Everything okay here? You tell me. I have my people working on it. We're gonna straighten everything out. I feel better already. Sorry, but I've got to run. So soon? Aren't you gonna stay for a drink? Yeah, Bruce. Stay for a drink? <laughs> I'd love to, but I've got another appointment and I really don't want to be late for it. Oh, all right then. Don't forget to change into your suit. Gotham Docks Warehouse, okay. Okay, well, we still haven't got the achievement for Chapter 4, so I guess we'll just keep going until we finish Chapter 4. Uh, that was, like, a really cool sequence. Like, I really enjoyed that. Uh, hopefully, they keep that kind of thing up, because that was really cool. And it's, like, a really cool little lead into just who her client is. So that's going to be interesting to find out. Alfred, I'm at the warehouse. No sign of Catwoman's contact. It's quiet. The sound of an ambush. Stay on guard. <clears throat> oh, 
Oh shit. Okay, there's just been like a big warehouse massacre apparently. This wasn't a handoff. It was a massacre. Oh my god, he said it as well, that's cool. How many? What is that? There's like a it looks like a bunch of like melted I'd bones. Have to kill the pieces. Oh good lord. Who could have done such a thing? That's what I'm gonna find out. Gordon, East Side Docks, Warehouse 133. Okay, cool, we get to like, do like our investigation thing, that's cool. Detective mode. Oh, look at that, it's like Predator. Analyzing. It's a volatile chemical. Potential psychoactive nerve agent. Vile stuff. Be very, very careful with that. Who knows what effect it may have. Have the computer catalog the compound for further analysis. As you wish. And the fact that the henchmen have like them skull masks, like I'm trying to work out who the fuck that would be. Nothing left. Like, to me, to like Bane, but then I don't know if he's even going to be in this. So, items tagged with that can be linked to related items to theorize a connection. Okay. What we do? We move it over here. Okay. That's kind of cool. Whatever exploded did so with enough force to obliterate the person standing next to it. But the chemicals themselves were inert, not explosive. Well, it appears to have made a pretty big boom. I'll see what I can piece back together. Okay, so let's see how much we can walk around here. Look at that walk. He's got a bit of like a lame, kind of moody, teenager, stroppy walk. For a badass superhero. Hmm. Canisters were stored here. Canisters of what? The canister exploded, sending shrapnel right through the container door. For once, I'm glad you arrived after the heist. That's a cool shot. Your armor wouldn't have protected you against that. And the bad suit's actually like pretty fine. Like, I just thought about it now. So clearly they're doing something well if I haven't like been like, oh, it looks shit. I've seen these outfits before. City Hall. Same mercs that broke into City Hall. Wait a minute. Oh, we can open it, okay. Looks like a bullet started this. A normal bullet couldn't have caused that explosion. Doesn't appear normal. The point of entry is melted. Magic bullets. Okay, link that to... What do we have to link it to? Scrap of metal. Don't we have anything over here to look at? Maybe we're not meant to do it yet. Oh, there's a thing here. All right, we'll have a look at this guy, and then we can link some shit together. White Rose. Falcone's calling card. Okay. He's been busy as of late. Send the drones hunting. I want to know his every move. Good thinking, sir. No. That bad? Ooh. Face slashed, throat torn open. So, not natural causes then. Anything else? Okay, we can look at this pocket. Skyline Club. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I said to examine him, but never mind. This man's been badly burned, but the damage seems to originate from inside his skull. What? I'm so confused. What did this? I'm so confused by this. What's he doing? Oh. 
I don't know how exactly we're gonna find it. Oh. That was easy. Sensors say it's an incendiary route. Phosphorus residue. This could have superheated the contents of the canister. Causing the aforementioned boom. Dead shot? Everything okay, bloody hands. Blood. Broken nails. Ew. Bits of human flesh. Did he turn into like a werewolf or something and then... What can we link that to? Not to the ripped up face. Okay, what about that? To this, uh... Find a connection. The bullet that killed the cop is the same type that blew up the canister. I'm sure they didn't find that at the local gun store. It appears military. Okay, can we go through here? Or they okay, know? I guess we can go up the stairs. Or not. Silly me. Okay, bloody hands and a ripped up face. That would make sense. A cop shredded this murk to pieces. Barehanded. So it makes you go crazy. God. What would cause someone to do that? The nerve agent could make them psychotic. Huh, okay, now I don't know what to do, because I thought that would link everything. Uh... Okay, so that linked with him going crazy. No? So you can only link stuff with one other thing, okay. So I think we need another... One more kind of clue thing and then we can link that with... The barrel scorch, maybe. Okay, tire tracks. Something was here when the explosion occurred. Can you link that to the un unscorched? Or to the, to the scorched bit? Someone drove off after the explosion. Okay, so that's a good thing to remember. You can only link yes. one thing with another thing, and then you can't do it to another thing. That's good because it'll rule out some stuff as we get to it. Falcone leaving his rose here. This is a message. Dead cops, stolen chemicals. He's making a big move. His snipers hit a canister with an incendiary bullet, causing it to superheat and explode. This may have been a distraction or a way of destroying evidence. Cops moved in to stop the theft. Falcone's men got them down. Then things turned grim. Possibly due to the psychoactive nerve agent. A cop ripped up a merc's face with his bare hands. And was put down. Same sniper, same type of bullet. Looks like Falcone's men got what they wanted and escaped. Have you located the shooter? No, but based on two impact trajectories, the canister and the dead cop, the shooter could only have a clear shot from there, there, or there. Okay, so now we're gonna go up and investigate. And would have contaminated himself with the phosphorus residue. Program the skimmers to pick up that signature. Right away, sir. Okay, this is cool.
both targets could have been shot from here, but no phosphorus trace. This is the right spot. So where did he go? Okay, I guess we just follow the trail along. Trace stops mm -hmm. here. Then he should be nearby. Found him. Time to go to work. your corpse to this graveyard. Balcone, why did he do this? I, I ain't telling you nothing! Why did it pop now? That's weird. You, you can't make me talk! I ain't telling you jack! You trying to scare a confession out of me? I won't break! Your bones will. Damn. If we just, just scrape his face on the floor as he goes up, what's gonna happen? This is not like Batman. It's true He's what they said about you. Guy. You're a freaking animal. Give me a reason to stop. You know you can bleed to death without ever spilling a drop. Mm. All on the inside. Tell me the plan. Or I start swinging. You don't really call that. Tell me! The cab woman was supposed to hand over a drive, had the container number we needed, but she flaked. So we had to find it ourselves. Container by container! Someone must have heard us! Call the cops. We were told no witnesses. Why risk open war with the GCPD? Some kind of chemicals. <laughs> Falcone wanted them. What are the chemicals for? We were paid to steal them, not ask questions. <laughs> I start here and keep breaking until you answer. The chemicals! There's some kind of explosive! A weapon! I don't know! Balcone said he'd use them soon! Used? Where? That's all I know! I swear! I swear! I told you everything I know! You're an animal! I was just here for a pickup! I swear! You're path! You're supposed to be a good guy! I'm not gonna break it, we don't have to. Oh god. Jesus Christ. These are cops. Get an ambulance in here. I think I need to call the coroner instead. It's Montoya. Send a cleanup unit to the docks. Warehouse 133. Okay, let's try and establish a relationship. Hey! Freeze! Don't move! Stand down, Montoya. Oh, Montoya. Oh, my God. Cool. You was about to kill me. You want to tell me what the hell this is all about? I told you he was about to kill me. What are you waiting for? I'm doing your job. Yeah, that's the problem. We'll take it from here. Falcone stole a shipment of chemicals. Appears to be a weaponized nerve agent. Causes people to go berserk, turn violent. We need to act before he releases it. I got a task force on it. You already have one. Oh, fuck. You're taking yeah. this too far, Bruce. That was awesome. Okay, so that's chapter four done, apparently. Uh, even though it did it halfway through.
But that was really awesome. I really loved that section. And uh, hopefully you guys will join me next time where we kind of finish off this first episode and uh, get to the conclusion and see what happens next. So thanks for watching. Stay awesome. I'll see you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed as much as I did. Thanks a lot, guys.